so now in this video I will show you guys how to do a root navigation for unnamed roots so simply in there in the get material app we will have a title for it and in title we will say root navigation for a unnamed roots So in here you will have a home and in home you will have a scaffold widget and in scaffold widget we will have an app bar and app bar widget and there will be a title so write title and title we will have a text and in text we will write something you can write anything in here but I will simply copy this line of and paste in here. So after this in here there will be body and in body we will have a center widget and in center widget we will have a child and in child we will have a column widget and in column widget we will have an elevated button but first we will set the main axis alignment and cross axis alignment so main axis alignment set it to center after cross axis alignment set it to center now in children we will have an elevated button there we go in child we will show text so write in here text and text we will simply uh, get the user to the home page but we didn't create the home page yet so in text we will simply show to the user that go to home now in here on press we will get the user to the home page and after it we will create a home page for it so in here write uh, get dot to We will give the name of a page here. So write in here home page. And here put a comma. Put a semicolon. So now we will simply create a page for a home page. So simply go in there in the lib, right click, create a new file, and we will name this as a home page. dot dart as you guys can see there will be a straight list widget and we will name this as home page as you guys can see we don't need this just simply dial this now import the library click in here and import this library there we go so going back to the main dot dart so import in here the library as you guys can see that home page dot dot as you guys can see the error is gone so this all the code for a uh, main dot dot now we will simply go to the home page and we will code there and in here in the elevated button we get the user simply to the home page so now in home page we will go and code in here so we will simply remove that container and write scaffold in here we will have app bar app bar widget and in app bar widget we will have a title so write title and in title we will have a text and in text we will say home page So now after this in body we will have a center widget and in center widget we will have a child and in child we will have a column widget and in column widget we will set the main axis alignment first and cross axis alignment so right in here main axis alignment and set it to center after this we will have a cross 
axis alignment set this also to center now there will be children and in children we will show text and in text we will say something that this is the home page screen let's do some styling for it and in style we will have a text style in text style we will have a color colors dot we will go with this black 54 now set the font size we will set it to 30 pono as you guys can see now font weight will be bold dot bold as you guys can see in here put a comma in here and after this in here we will have an elevated button and elevated button we will simply get the user to move it to another page basically this will be the root navigation for unnamed routes so right in here write L elevated button and in here in child we will show text and in text we will say go to another page or we will say something let's first create a, another page right in the lib in here new file and we will name this as a dashboard so right in here dashboard page dot dot as you guys can see now in here in the dashboard we will have a stateless widget and we will name this as a dash board and write page as you guys can see so let's remove this code we don't need this and we will simply import the library as you guys can see now go back to the home page dot dot in here we will say now that go to dashboard page let's do some styling for it in here so write style and style we will have a text style and text style we will have a font size and font size will be 15 point now let's set the color in colors dot we will go with the white one there we go put a comma in here and in here too now we will work in this elevated button right in here on press in here as you guys can see in here we will simply get the user get dot to to the dashboard so right in here dash b o a r d board page there we go put a comma in here and then semicolon and import the library for this get click in here and import this library for a man dot dot there we go so now for this two we will import a library right in here so write import then write package and then write get we will go with this second one package as you guys can see you simply click on it there we go as you guys can see now the error on the two is gone so now let's set a size box between the home page screen and this elevated button so in here we will set a size box so red size box we will give the height to 10.0 there we go everything is good in here 
so this will be simply a button to get the user to the dashboard page so after this we will have another button elevated button after this dashboard in here to simply get the user to the back page so for this we are going to have another elevated button so simply after this in here we will first set the size box to give them some height so in here size box we will set the height to 10.0 and after this we will have an elevated button right in here as you guys can see in child we will have a text and text we will show the user to go back to the main dot dot so in here we will say go back to main put comma in here and in here let's do some styling for it for this in here we will say style and in style we will have a text style and text style we will have a font size right in here and we will set this to 15.0 let's do some color for it in here so red colors colors dot we will go with the white as you guys can see in here now we will work in here on this on press right in there we will simply get the user cat dot back this will get the user to the main dot dot all good is here so basically that dashboard elevated button this will get the user to the dashboard page that we created before right in here as you guys can see a dashboard we will code in here just in a while going back to the home page dot dot and now this elevated button will get back the user to the main dot dot right in here in this main dot dot so now we will go back to the home page dot dot all code for the home page dot dot is done now we will simply go and work in this dashboard page in here this will be the last page so let's remove this container and write scaffold and in scaffold we will have app bar app bar widget and app bar widget we will have a title and in title we will have a text and in text we will say dashboard as you guys can see in here now in body we will have a center widget and in center widget we will have a child and in child we will have a column widget and in column widget we will set the main axis alignment set it to center then cross axis alignment set it to center after this we will have a children so write in here children and in children we will have a text and in text we will say that this is the dashboard page screen let's do some style for it so write in here style and in style we will have a text style and in text style we will have a color and set the colors to dot dot black 54 now we will set the font size we will set it to 22.0 after this we will set the font weight font weight will be bold put a comma in here now after this 
we will have an elevated button just to get the user to get back to the home page so in here we will have our first size box we will set the height to 10.0 after this elevated button in here let's first set the text in here write text and in text we will say back go back to home page put a comma in here too now we will work right in the on press right in here we will get the user back to home so right in here get back and write semicolon at the end now let's import the library for get so click in here on this get and import this library now for a bake we will have to import a library in here write import write a package this one the first one there we go the error is gone on the back as you guys can see so now let's do the last thing to set a style and a color for this text just simply copy this line of code from style to here just copy and paste it here put a comma first and then paste it here as you guys can see we don't need this font weight so simply delete this like this and we will set the font size to 15 and we will change the color to white right in here so right in here white there we go so now in here we are done now we will simply go and run the application so simply come here and click on this play button we will see the result just wait for a while it will take some time as you guys can see the result root navigation for unnamed routes so now if I click in here go to the home page it will direct us to the home page as you guys can see this is the home page screen we are in the home page and in here as you guys can see that we can go to the dashboard page or you can go back to the main so now we will first check this dashboard so simply click in here as you guys can see we are in the dashboard page screen dashboard and from here we can go back to the home page so simply click in here it will get us to the home page there we go home page screen now from here there is a dashboard or we can go back to the main so this time we will go back to the main click in here so this is the main page so basically that's it for this video and in the next video we will work further